This is a location summary and within this location summary we have a container. Within the container we have text, free text analysis, we have date, we have status, we have supplier name, category 1, category 2, initiative name and supplier search. At the top of the screen you can see the spend for that period, so from the 1st of January 2019 to the 29th of the 6th 2020. So we wanted to get a year's worth of data. Um, what we could do is pick this up from say 2019 we come to January, June the 1st, 2019, and that sort of gives us 12 months worth of data. And what that tells us is for the last 12 months, the total spend is 110 million in this container here. There are 2,066 suppliers, 29,074 purchase orders, 29,074 lines. What that means is that every single line has a unique purchase order and the average line value is approximately £3,783. If you then start to look within the container itself, we have a location map, we have a heat map, we have a cost centre map, we have a spend by general ledger and we also have a total account. Now, if I click here, this is showing you that in, in Derby, um, the total spend is £98 million. And Daventry is 2.6. Cardiff, uh, nearly 300k. And in London, £7 million. How that's broken up, so if I click on uh, Derby, for example, what that's shown you is the dashboard chain, 98 million, 108 suppliers, and the majority of these suppliers are what we call manufacturing operations, which actually is telling us that these are related to direct materials. If I click that. What you also notice in here, we've got a status one, two, three, we'll come back to that later. We have a list of all the suppliers, here they are, so you can actually search by supplier. You have a category one, which is corporate facilities, human resources, information technology and production, and then within um, level two. So for example, uh, oops, I've done here, I've pick um, production, so let all put in production parts. What that then gives us down is a list of like, camera, chassis, etc. I'll take that off, clear that. So let's talk about the heat map. Heat map, as you can see, is telling us here that we have 29 million is in microprocessors, 16 million in chassis. And this heat map, if I click on it, tell, it gives you a more detailed breakdown. It shows you up here on the graph 29 million, 53 suppliers, and we'll dive into that a little bit more detail. This chart here shows you the cost center, i.e. where are the costs being booked, who is responsible for them, and who is mainly the budget holder. If you then look here, we've done an automatic Pareto analysis on this, or an ABC. If I click on that, that tells us that 61 of the total suppliers make up 80% of that spend within that period. Class B suppliers make up 10 million, there's 19 of them, and the long tail suppliers we have is 12 and a half million is made up of these long tail suppliers. Six of that is manufacturing operations. You've got markets, so we're now hitting the indirect space. So if I take that off, if I move on to the next chart, actually, if I go back here, general ledger accounts. These are accounts where finance book the goods to, so you'll see a general ledger account at 22,000. And this is aligned to the chart of accounts, and this chart of accounts really gives us a breakdown of um, cost. It then gives us a breakdown of where they've been booked to. And in this case here, what it's telling us is 
that we have goods received, invoice received for our own production. So it's quite a very high level. So it's telling us that we've booked them in, but it doesn't give us more granular detail than that. The next one down tells us that we're booking it into spare parts, and then you can see a list of all the general ledger codes that are associated with goods that are coming in. We've got expense, legal, technology, consulting. And what we do within uh, our categorization is we then create a, almost like a, a category tree or taxonomy and we link these general ledger codes and we build, start to then build a set of rules around that to help us classify more. The next, the next page is giving us a more detailed view of that spend and what you'll notice is we've kept this um, what we call a template and we have that set um, here from the 1st of June to the 29th of June 2020. Now what it's doing here is actually giving us a detailed view. So in the location summary that showed us which internal location the money was being spent, where it was, etc. And in this view here what we have is a split, a spend by supplier. So and then you can see the total value of spend for each one of those. You can also see on the map where the, those suppliers are based. So, for example, if I click here on DAT hardware, what that's showing you is where the supplier is based. The payment terms that we have for those guys, which you've seen, there's quite a lot there. But they also supply monitors, Wi-Fi, chassis, hardware, packaging, and uh, memory. I think we have to the next person. So, so what it's telling you is you've got things in here that we would call multi-sourced items all on different payment terms um, and that gives you an example if I click here that gives you a bit we have with each supplier so as you can see if I click on that what you've got with them is about 300-400 thousand pounds on average spend per month and then we come in here, we've got a thing called category. So you can see a level one, we've booked it into, so saying a level one category is our production. Category two is microprocessor, etc. And what you can see here is DART hardware. We've got a thing here called material number. I'll come into that in a bit more detail. This one here is given as, an, as, as the actual text from the PO. This is given as the date in which the goods were receipted and the total value and the total number of lines within each one of those purchase orders. So for example, if I click on the word micro, what it tells you here is you get 53 suppliers that supply microprocessors. They've got different part numbers. Um, so what you're trying to do here is understand the part numbers that you have for each supplier and we've got this functionality here where we can zoom up and what I've done there is show that um, uh, this Samsung components has three microprocessors Marco and Son has three microprocessors there's the part number, there's the total spend and we can start to drill, drill down if I click on this supplier here and I take the drill through option so I can go drill, drill through. What that does is it takes me to this page here that shows me the daily spend that we have with that supplier, the total value in that period, the total number of documents, the location of where it is, and also the category in which it's found. If I then come back here, we've got a thing called decomposition tree. So I can add in who the supplier is, and what it's telling you is this is showing you all the suppliers that supply these different components and for procurement this is the area that we would like to concentrate on so in summary this is a spend analytics dashboard or a spend analysis dashboard that helps procurement with the spend profile and also helps manufacturing and um, finance deliver savings and also help us with um, the breakdown. Now if we go back to here for example and we want to see all the suppliers for production 
and then we come in here and say we want to see all the memory suppliers. Then what that's telling you is these there are eight memory suppliers. They all have different payment terms, and they they are all based within the UK at these three or four locations. The same applies for memory, and it tells us there's 53 suppliers there, so there might be a consolidation opportunity. And as you go through this list, it's telling you there's 30 million. Of that 30 million, 36 suppliers make up 80% of the spend. So within the long tail, there might be consolidation opportunities here between these two, even in here as well.